This kind of thing doesn't happen in the Hamptons. It just doesn't. You know, if it was a prowler, I hope they catch him, and I hope they catch him quickly. Well, I heard it was a drug. I heard she had a boyfriend. I heard he had a boyfriend. Yeah, it's wild, man. You, you know, you'd see him here on the weekends. He'd go running a lot. Uh, like he was being chased. He was worth $85 million. Uh, I heard 300. I couldn't have been more shocked when I heard it. I couldn't have been more astonished. Good looking guy. Bright, too. You know, investment banker. RGR Nabisco. Wasn't that his deal? Well, he was already established when they met, and she was in real estate? Apartment rentals. The lowest of the low. Ted Ammon, please. May I ask who's calling? Yeah, this is Generosa Rand. Um, I have an appointment to show him an apartment, but he was supposed to be here an hour ago. He hasn't shown up. Yeah, can you hold, please? Yes, I'm sorry. Mr. Ammon was tied up in a meeting, but he's on his way. Uh, okay. So I guess I'll, I'll just wait for him. Where are you? Mrs. Levine's been waiting an hour oh, and she's pissed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, look. Just tell her I'll be there in 20 minutes. I've been waiting for this guy. He said he's coming. He hasn't shown up. They keep telling me he's on his way. I'm, I'm coming now, okay? Don't bother, Jen. She left 10 minutes ago. I'm wondering if I could see Ted Ammon, please. Do you have an appointment? I did have an appointment. Thank you, gentlemen. Mr. Ammon, this is Generosa Rand. Hi, listen. Hello. You kept me waiting for three hours. I just want to ask you one thing. Why is it that people like you think that the rules don't apply to them? You can't treat people like that, Mr. Ammon. I have a job. I have other clients. I know. I know. You're absolutely right. There is no excuse. That's right. There is no excuse. I'm selfish excuse. and inconsiderate and a worthless human being. Well, I, w I wouldn't go that far. <sighs> All right, so uh, tell me about the apartment. I think you should see it for yourself. Well, why don't we do that tonight, and then maybe you'll let me take you out to dinner. Generosa, that's a beautiful name. Mm, when I was a kid, I desperately wanted to be called Susan or Debbie or Bill. Anything but Generosa. <laughs> well, it's, it's not a name you hear every day. Unless you're in Italy. Well, your parents are Italian? Never knew my father, um, but after my mother died when I was 10, I found this old photo album, right? And I'm flipping through it, and I see this picture of this Italian sailor who's blonde and gorgeous. And I turn over the picture, and she'd written his name on the back, Generoso. It wasn't too hard to figure it out. <laughs> and who raised you after your mother died? Relatives, foster homes. Don't really want to talk about it. I understand. Okay, good. Let's talk about you. Okay. 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 Do you come from money, or do you have to earn it like the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just get right to the point, don't you? Some people think I'm a little blunt. You know, on Wall Street, I, I get bull thrown at me all day long. I prefer it when people are direct. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I... I've earned every penny. So he picks you up in his limo, he winds you, he dines you. He sends you flowers for no reason, and he's gorgeous? Honey, it sounds like he's too good to be true. I think I really like him. 
Well, that's the icing on the cake. No, I'm serious. I mean, he's he's smart, he's successful, he's not full of himself like most of the guys I meet. Well, please tell me he has a brother. Sister. Sorry. This is great. Don't lie. I'm not. I really like it. Have you ever shown your work? Well, a year ago, I had a piece at a group show in Tribeca, but... I think I'm really close to getting my own show. And, and everything is made of garbage. <laughs> it's not garbage, Ted. Haven't you ever heard of found art? No, I know. You use ordinary things. Found objects. I know, like Andy Warhol, right? I mean, kind of. With the soup cans, he makes you look at an ordinary thing differently. Yeah, sure. For instance, see that trash can lid? I found that in an alley, all banged up. And it was the only one there. I mean, there were no other trash cans, nothing else, just this lonely trash can lid, right? Something about it made me want to bring it home. It took me home. Does that make me a found object? In a way. Well, I'm very happy to have been found. <laughs> you don't take me seriously, do you? Well, that's where you're wrong. I take you very seriously. Mm. I'm not a dilettante, you know. I know. So, um, why'd you get divorced? Uh, we grew apart mostly. We wanted different things. I can't imagine anyone letting you go. Oh, we're <laughs> still good friends. How good? <laughs> Trust me, she's not nearly as much fun as yours. She never would have gone Viking with me like this. What's the matter with you, lady? Why don't you look where you're going? Hey! Hey, stop! Get your hands hey. off the car! What the hell were you thinking? Take you almost killed that woman! Hey, you're not going anywhere! Hey, you almost killed that woman! I understand, I understand. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did I scare you? Well, you, you mean you, you <laughs> yelling at the cab driver? I mean, I guess I was a little worried you were going to get in a fist fight with the guy. <laughs> Sometimes I just go off, you know? I, I think I get it from my mom because she was crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I just, um, it just, it bothers me when things aren't the way they're supposed to be. And I guess sometimes I let people know that. Please tell me you find it devastatingly attractive. Well, matter of fact, I've never been more turned on in my life. Grace, this is my girlfriend, Generosa. Hey, you're the one that's been monopolizing all Ted's time, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> we've been begging Ted to let us meet you, but he's so mysterious. All we know is you're in real estate. Actually, I'm an artist. Oh. Yeah. Well, now that we've met you, we won't let Ted keep you under wraps any longer, will we? Your dress is gorgeous. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Jimmy, you're beautiful. <laughs> That's fun. Can I tell you something? Yes. I hate being called your girlfriend. <laughs> it sounds very high school. Well, I could call you my steady. That's at least college level. <laughs> Dad, I want to know where I stand. Do you want me to say that I love you? Because I do, you know. Yeah. Sweetie, look, I just... I just need some time. For what? Jen, things are going good right now. They're great. Why can't that be enough for a while? Where are you going? I thought you were coming back to my place tonight. 
Listen. Until you decide what you want, I cannot see you anymore. Sorry. Sorry. No. Sweetie, don't do this. 83rd New York. Jen, don't, don't do this. Oh. Hi, this is Jen Arosa. Leave a message. Come on, Jen. It's been five days. I mean, this is, this is silly. At least talk to me. Please, if you're there, just pick up. Come on, Jen. It's ridiculous. Hi. Hey. Hi, hi. Well, <laughs> this is progress. What do you want, Ted? I want to see you, but... Ted, I... I can't. Not until you figure out what you want. I'm sorry. You have a visitor. Who? See for yourself. She moved into Ted's townhouse right off Fifth Avenue. Of course, Jenna Rosa had some things redone. She wanted it to be perfect. He let her convert one of the rooms into an artist studio. She tried to be a downtown artist, but who was she kidding, really? How can you be downtown uptown? She tried. She worked her ass off, actually, but no one wanted to exhibit her art. No one. Look, I know people, collectors. Why don't I make a few calls? Oh, God, Ted, please don't. Everyone will know. They'll say, well, of course she got a show. Her husband paid for it. But, Jen, this is how things are done. Everyone has help. You think Sarah and Schnabel and those guys don't have patrons? Baby, you don't get it. Nobody takes me seriously as an artist because of your money. Well, in time, if you're good, and you are, mm -mm. come here. Now that's going to matter. My brother always wanted to have kids. I, I don't think Generosa really did. She lived in an orphanage, a, a bunch of foster homes. I, I think she was even abused. Her mother was mentally ill. I think she was afraid of having kids. But more than anything, she wanted to make Ted happy, so... They tried in vitro. They tried everything. I'm sorry to interrupt. You said to remind you? It's 11.45. Yes. The car's waiting downstairs. Sorry, guys. I gotta cut this short. I gotta have sex with my wife at exactly 12.05. The bridge is closed. Stay away from the east side. Thank you, Matt. Honey, I'm here! Jen, where are you? Hey, come Great. on! No, after all that, they ended up going the adoption route. Four-year-old twins, a boy and a girl from Russia. They're totally adorable. I, I'd never seen Ted happier in his life. You know what? I've made up my mind. I'm, I'm going to leave KKR. I just, I want to spend more time with you and the kids. It's more important right now. Baby, that's wonderful. You know, I'm going to do my own thing, get some investors together. You'll be just, your own boss? Yeah. It'll be a new challenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Mommy, Daddy, oh. Noah! Noah! Look at that! Huh? Big flower! Big flower! Big flower! Big flower! Well, Ted threw himself into the new business, and 
generosa. She took all her artistic ambition and channeled it into redoing the new house in East Hampton. It's a beautiful property. She had exquisite taste. I'll give her that. She'll never wait till morning, though she loves the sun and the way it shines. There never was a warning, but it just started storming. We were out of time. How are you? Nice to see you. Let's have a toast to Ted, oh, who God. had the guts to walk away from a sure thing and turn a tiny company into a national powerhouse. Hey, what about you? You had the guts to go with me. <laughs> I deserve Cheers. some credit here, right? I mean, I, I threw this party. I, gosh, I don't think you would be where you are today without me. Yeah, I mean, behind every good man, there is a... Great uh, woman. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Sounds a little patronizing, doesn't it? Certainly it? does. Oh, honey, it's not just that I couldn't do it without you. It's that I... I wouldn't have wanted to. Good save, Ted. <laughs> well, hey, what do you think of these uh, these flowers at Generous Plant? Aren't oh, they beautiful? Tulips, they're gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous like a sea are. of red. Really fun. It's just, what just... did you say? <laughs> I mean, they're, they're burgundy. Are you blind? It's red, they're burgundy. burgundy. Yeah. They're burgundy. Yeah. Burgundy, red, it's all... Sweetheart. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Jen? What are you doing? I asked for burgundy! Tulip! I did not ask for red! Sweetheart! <laughs> Sweetheart. Why can't I get what I ask for? I don't ask for much. I only expect what I ask for. That's sweetheart, nothing wrong. Sweetheart, it's okay. Not sweetheart. Honey, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I just want It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> To ask you to sit down every other morning with your wife and your kids um, and have breakfast with them. Breakfast meeting, sorry. You have a breakfast meeting every morning. Oh, you know how much of my business is done over meals, Jen? You know, you can decide to stay home with your family and have breakfast. You can decide to have dinner with us once in a while. We had dinner together last night. Yeah, at a fundraiser for Grace Hospital. Well, I'm with you on weekends, aren't I? I'm not talking about the Hamptons, Ted. I am talking about Monday through Friday. It may have escaped your notice, but we live here. Your family lives here with you in the city. If you don't want to come home, that's a whole... That's a whole other thing, isn't it? Well, I certainly don't want to come home to this. Why don't you tell all your friends what a nagging shrew your wife is, okay? Eat your breakfast. Over the years, she pushed away most of their friends. Any little thing might set her off. You never knew. We were probably the only ones left. <laughs> hey! Jen, hi! 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 Hey! What's, what's going on? Are the, are the kids all right? Kids are fine. Do I need an excuse to want to see my husband? No. <laughs> no of course not. Um, well, uh, why don't you join us? Would you like a glass of wine? Yeah, that'd be great. 
Hi. This is, uh, you know, Matt and Thomas, and, and this is Lindy Fisher. Hi. So how's Grace? Oh, well, she's doing good. Oh, good. Good, good. Tell her I said hi. I'll do that. Lindy, right? Yeah. Are you married, Lindy? No, actually, I'm not. That is to me. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, how you doing? I miss you. <laughs> how could you humiliate me like that? How could you humiliate Sorry, yourself? I interrupted your date. It wasn't a date. We were trying to close a deal, a very important deal. All your deals are important, right? You're damn right they are. They pay for this house, for East Hampton, for the cars, the kids' school, the vacations, and money. for the lifestyle that you become accustomed to. I don't care about your money. That is not what I meant. You know that is not what I meant. Sweetheart, you need to get help. This is not normal behavior. Are you saying I'm crazy? <sighs> that is not what I said. No, that's what you think. Look, could you stop? Whatever I say or do, it's the wrong thing. I don't know what you want anymore. I want one thing, Ted. One simple thing. I want you to love me. That's all. Oh, for God's sake, sweetheart. I do love you. You know that I love you. Nothing is good enough. It will never be good enough. Ted. Listen, listen. Our problem isn't each other. Why don't we get away somewhere, out of the city, without the kids? Just, just you and me. Okay? They told everyone they were moving to England for the sake of the children. Well, I didn't buy that, and nobody did. It was obviously a last-ditch attempt to save their marriage. But the kids were happy there. Mrs. Ammon hired me out of 50 applicants. She brought me up from London to run Coverwood Manor. I'm pleased to say that she and I saw eye to eye on the details of how a fine home should be run. General Rosa and the kids settled in England while Ted commuted back and forth to New York. Right, from England. He was to live there full time at the Manor House eventually. Somehow. It takes time to close a business like mine, Generosa. You just don't lock the front door of the shop and walk away. I want to show you something. What the hell is this? You're having me followed? This is disgusting. It certainly is. And what does it prove? That we work together? That we have lunch together? Yeah, how about this one, Ted? Hmm? Well, that's a picture of Lindy and her baby. What the hell does that have to do with me? My point exactly. What does it have to do with you? Lindy were friends. I would be very, very surprised if the child was Ted's. I, that was just 
one of her fantasies that she cooked up. All right. I did see a lawyer in London. Because we had a big fight and I wanted to see what my options were. What? Your options? It hasn't gone any further. How do you expect me to believe anything you say anymore? I'm telling you the truth now. But I don't see how we can live like this anymore. I don't see how we can live like this. I really did love for you, you know? Well, I think she decided if Ted was going to leave her, it was going to be on her terms. Well, she came right back to New York, moved into a five-star hotel with the kids, and went straight to a lawyer. wasn't pretty. No, it was war. She found an apartment on East 87th. They're asking nine million. Fine. I'm not done. She wants another million for renovations. And until it's ready, she wants to stay at the St. Clifton with the kids and the nanny. How much is that going to cost? Her suite alone is 1500 a night. Give it to her. I get to order room service today. No. She did, no, she did last time. No, no, I go. no, I didn't. Honey, I get Alexa's order turn to order room Oh, no. Okay, Alexa, I want scrambled eggs and Franz toes and bananas. So you want the same? Yeah. Okay. What do you want, Mom? Mm, I would like a latte in the New York Times. We need to have breakfast sent up. Please. Please. Oh, yeah. gosh. Okay. Do you see what your father has reduced us to? Living in a hotel like gypsies and ordering room service. <laughs> Mom, gypsies don't order room service. They live in their cars on the street. Ah, uh, Mrs. Ammon? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, hey, no problem. I you know, just ordered beer. Great. Uh, excuse me. I'll have a cosmopolitan, please. So. Hey, you know, I was going to uh, stay here once. Yeah, me and my wife, we were going to come into the city for our anniversary, but yeah, we never did. So. Right. You know, we're just uh, kind of separated right now. Oh. Got married at 18. I'm pretty dumb, huh? Right. But I got three great kids. You got kids? Yep, yeah, uh, two. Oh, thank you. Two? Hey, could you put these both on my room, please? Oh, you don't have to do that. That's okay. That's thank okay. you. You're welcome. Well, you look great for two kids. Thank you. Let me ask you something, Mr. Pelosi. Danny, please. Danny? Why do men cheat, do you think? On their wives? Yeah, on their wives. Well, um... I mean, some guys, maybe they're just not wired to be with only one woman their whole life. Do you think it's possible to... Be in love with your wife and still want to sleep with other women. Oh, yeah. Sure, I mean, you know. It's been going on since the dawn of time. What are you going to do? Let's talk about the renovation, shall we? So you're going to want to keep this the foyer? Definitely. All right, I can do that. You know if you got uh, copper pipes? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll check it out. Woo! This place is old. It is. Probably not wired right either. Yeah, see, 
Here's the thing. I want to rip this whole wall out, you know, make it all one big room. All right. Well, you know, we're going to definitely have to bring her up to date. That's the sir. Oh, you got some nice wood here. I want to take all that flooring out. Gone. The wood? Yeah, the wood. Huh. Well, uh, you got a time frame in mind? I don't know. You tell me. Money's no object. He's offering a lump sum financial settlement to end the apartment. How much? Ten million. Very funny. That doesn't include child support, of course. She wants two and a half million in alimony per year. That's half of everything you're worth. Three hundred million, at least. He claims fifty. He's lying. One hundred and eighty thousand a month for basic living expenses. That's just in New York. She wants another hundred thousand for upkeep of the house in England, which she wants to keep, along with all the other real estate. Give her whatever she wants. I just want joint custody of the kids, and I want to hold on to the Hamptons. That's all I want. Hey. 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 Are you all right? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What time is it? A uh, little after eight. Should have rung an alarm clock, huh? <laughs> Wait a second. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't sleep in here all night, did you? I got a toothbrush, change of clothes, and I'm, I'm good to go. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, it's easier this way. Since my wife threw me out. <laughs> I cussed down on traffic on the LLE, too. So, oh, man. You know what? Mm. No one who works for me sleeps in a truck. Why don't you let me get you a room at my hotel? Uh... I think I'll take you up on that. Mom? Are we there? Mom? Hey, guys. Hey, listen, I'm a little um tired today. Why don't you go down to the coffee shop, okay? Okay, Mom. See you, Mom. Bye. Bye. Look, I'm just a girl from Long Island. You know, how was I supposed to compete? I mean, after being married for so long, it was the biggest ego trip in the world that this beautiful, sophisticated woman wanted him. Although I think she got off on it, the fact that he wore a freaking tool belt. Dangerous game you're playing here, bro. What? Doing the boss. You get fired, we all lose our jobs. No, nobody's getting fired. You don't know her like I do. She's good people. Besides, she's having the time of her life. I gotta tell you, she loves sticking it to the old man. Oh. So this is the new floor, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? A hundred grand of imported marble. I don't want it. What, you don't like it? I like it. I don't want it. Let's go back to the oak. Whoa, whoa. You want to tear out all this marble and put in wood? Mm-hmm. Jenna Rosa. Mrs. Amber. That's a lot of money to just flush down the toilet. It's not my money. Done? Fellas? They became an item pretty quick. This brought you out of my world that you never even knew existed. <laughs> Fancy meals, driving around in a limo, front row seats to Les Mis. <laughs> Ted was thrilled when he found out she had a boyfriend. What, are you kidding me? I mean, what a relief. He figured she was finally moving on. It's Oh, yeah, they'd be in here almost every night. Guy left a $200 tip once. He used to brag about how he, uh, how he knew guys from the mafia. God, I can't wait to see the look on that bastard's face. <laughs> I wish I could see the look on his face every time my has to write me a check. Mm. What are you going to do, baby? For everything he's got. No, oh, no. Nah. You know what? What are you looking at? Huh? You think I don't know who sent you here, huh? Baby, come on now. You think I don't know you're spying for my husband? Stand up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Baby. Oh, you tell him that I said he could go to hell. How about that? Hey, 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 come on. Hey, All right. Come on. Oh, I know who you Here's are. for your pay. Hey, you don't here. Take that. It'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Um, could I be of help with something? Oh, thank you. No, I'm just waiting for my kids. They were uh, supposed to meet me here an hour ago. 
I see. And your children, are they staying at the hotel? Yes, they are. I see. Uh, which room number? Perhaps I could call up for you. Uh, you know, I've already tried, but uh, thank you. Ah, I see. Well, hopefully it won't be much longer. Bye. What are you doing talking to him? I, he shouldn't uh, even be waiting in here. He should be waiting outside. Uh, uh, what have you been telling him? Uh, hmm? Nothing. What have you been telling him? Come on, kids, let's go. Let's go. Let's no, just... I'm not done with you but, yet. Uh, hey, hey, I want to know what time you're bringing my kids back. Hey, don't ignore me. I said, when are you bringing my kids back? We'll have them Sunday at 5, but like I always. I need them this Sunday. And you'll have them at 5. Hey, come here. This is me. I don't even have to let you take them, Ted. I could get a court order and have you stopped in 20 minutes, Ted. Come here, baby. Come Ted, here. No, we should just stay with no, Mom's no, weekend. No, no, no. This is our weekend here. away. You're God, coming with just, us. Ted, Ted, get let them go. Just stop. This for the kids' sake. For the kids' sake? Why didn't you think of the kids when you broke up their home? Why didn't you think of the kids when you destroyed our lives? Stop. Let me go. Get out of the car, kids! Get out! Right now! Help! Somebody help me! He's kidnapping my children! Somebody help me! This man is kidnapping my children! Taxi! Uh, Easter weekend, I went up to New York to see my brother. He was so excited to bring the kids out to the house in East Hampton. He He'd arranged to have Easter eggs hidden all over the grounds. And when I saw them, I thought, oh boy, what has she done to these kids? We're not going to the Hamptons. That house is mom's, not yours. You have no business being in that house ever again. Guys, just wait a minute. Mom says you should give her all your money. You can always make more. Mom says you're cheating business. That's how come you're so rich. And Mom says you have a secret girlfriend and a two-year-old son. And you're spying us with hidden cameras. Mom showed us the big satellite dish on top of the museum you used to spy on us. Guys, it's just not true. I'm sorry, but your mother has told you lies about me. No, she hasn't. She, she wouldn't, wouldn't lie to us. us. Okay. I was beside myself, but Ted was amazing. He never fell apart. He went right ahead and called up the Knickerbocker Museum. This satellite equipment here receives television signals from nearby and from very far. It's kind of like your cable TV, only without the cable. Now check this out. With this setup, we'll be able to watch Ted from anywhere in the city. See, these cameras will be linked up right here to this laptop. Danny, this is never going to work. He's going to see the camera. No, he won't. They'll be hidden behind motion detectors. No big deal, babe. Look, let me show you how this is hooked up. Now, this is a pretty powerful system, but the one thing it absolutely cannot do is listen to people or watch them in any way or spy on them. Oh, this is it. Everything is going to be wired right here into this central location. Yeah, with all your money, I can't believe you guys have lived here for so long without video surveillance. Yeah. I had to convince Ted to even lock the front door. There's no camera, and there's no microphone. Thanks, Jack. Do you believe me now, guys? You know I would never lie to you. Oh, so you decided to come home. What do you mean? Dad brought us back right on time. Do you know what? I don't want to talk to either of you right now, so why don't you go to your rooms? I said go to your rooms. What's the matter? What did we do? You spend the weekend with that man, and you expect me to pretend it's okay. What are those? Dad bought them so that we could call him and he could call us. We, we probably won't even use them. Do either of you see what he's trying to do? Don't you know about cell phones? Why? They give you cancer, Alexa. They give you brain cancer. 
Give them to me, both of them. Oh, my babies. Pelosi's basically living full time at that hotel with your kids. I hate to tell you, he's got a criminal record dating back to the 80s. So, DUI, resisting arrest, leaving the scene of an accident. Six years ago, he was injured on a job site, sued his employer. It's a psychiatric evaluation. Severe personality disorder, severe antisocial tendencies, passive aggressive personality disorder, substance and alcohol abuse. I gotta get this guy away from my kids. Breakfast for her, the kids, the nanny, and the boyfriend, all right, comes to $500 a day, a day for breakfast. And have you seen this? Look at this, all right? He charged a $30,000 SUV to the renovation, not for her, for Pelosi, all right? She even wants me to pay for the caps on his teeth. And look at these hotel bills, all right? What is with all these extra rooms? Look at this. Pelosi, 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 I mean, you know, what the hell is he doing with all these extra rooms? Yeah, he had his family come up to the St. Clifton. Our kids went a couple of times. His sister, her kids, his mother stayed there for a week in a luxury suite, all for free. As of today, he's cutting off all funding for the apartment renovation. What? Well, he can't do that. Can he do that? I, I don't... You agreed to one million. You've already spent three, and you're not even done yet. What do you got, punk? Adam's right. You can't let him get away with it. What do you want me to do? What does it matter with that pansy lawyer of yours? Huh? Pay him way too much money. I'll tell you what you do. I'll tell you what you do. What? You tell him to go back to court, get an injunction, and you make him pay. You know, I ain't gonna shoot. It's not that easy. You just do it! It's not that easy! Right, all right. Sure. Generosa suddenly wanted sole custody of the children. It was a ploy for more money. But the court ordered psychiatric evaluations for both parents. She's done everything she can to poison the kids against me, but in spite of everything, I think they know that I love them and that I'll, I'll always be there for them. They hate him. I mean, they're afraid of him. They don't want to go. What kind of a mother would I be if I didn't fight for sole custody? I go nuts when I think about how much time they're spending with Pelosi. I mean, it really scares me to think about them being around a thug like that. And they love Danny. Love him. I mean, he's so great with them. He's the father they should have had. Of course, I know they need to be in therapy. I've stopped trying to bring it up with Generosa. She, she goes ballistic. I don't know, it's like you have to get recommendations, you have to interview therapists. Who has the time? They have, they have ballet, they have school, field hockey. They keep them very busy with activities. I testified that her symptom profile is considered in the clinical range of psychopathology. The level of paranoia and narcissism runs extremely high. You've been denied sole custody. For now, you'll split custody with Ted, one week with you, one week with him, until we can come to an agreement. No, no, no. How the hell did this happen? The judge made his decision based on the evaluation of the mental health professional. What did she say about me? She doesn't think you're stable enough for sole custody. Stable enough? No, no, no. He, look, he's clearly paid the woman off, all right? No. No, that bastard told her I was crazy. He knows that my mother's crazy. He told her about my mother's insanity. That's what's happening here. Nevertheless, the judge has approved this. It's a done deal. Yeah, right. All right, what about the money? As it turns out, Ted's representation of his net worth is basically correct. He's lying, okay? He's lying. I told you he would try and hide assets. That's what he okay, does. Okay, hey, what, he does the this bottom for a living. Just give He's me the bottom liar. line. Hey, baby, bottom line. The offer is $25 million and the apartment. Ted will keep the house in the East Hamptons. No. And the house in England will be sold and the proceeds divided even. No, no. You go back to them and you tell them, no deal. The house in the Hamptons is mine, okay? I built that house. I did. Generosa, I assure you, this is an excellent offer. What did he get to you, too? He's paying you off? Huh? You listen to me, okay? This is not over. You go back to them and you tell them, no deal. He's got a woman in there. In my house, in my bedroom.
Let's get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Oh, man. Hey, what's the matter? I'm upset. Close the door. Yeah, yeah, sure. You don't want to face the car, put your hands in the air. Now. Back. Did you know that you were weaving all over the road? Weave? No. Oh, I was just sleeping in the back. I got tired, so I pulled the car over. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, he failed the sobriety test. He refuses the breathalyzer. It didn't make a difference. They had him on the DUI. She went and bailed him out. Better her than me. I mean, let somebody else clean up his mess. I was surprised when he didn't show up for a meeting on Monday morning. But it wasn't until after the meeting was over that I really started to worry. Died from blunt force trauma, several blows to the head. Time of death is hard to say. It could have been as early as Saturday night. Blood trail starts downstairs, comes up here, goes out onto the terrace, into another room, and into the bathroom. Victim was trying to jag himself away. Maybe the perp tried to wash himself off in the shower. I got something I want to show you. Security system. State of the art. Video surveillance. Yep. Nine cameras. Yep. <clears throat> Looks like someone got to it. Maybe someone knew it was there. Who killed Ted Ammon? With no sign of burglary or forced entry, sources say it was most likely someone who knew the millionaire investment banker well. All residents seem to agree, murders just don't happen in the Hamptons. I will be relieved when they catch whoever did this. I don't like sleeping with my doors locked. Well, it was obviously a crime of passion. Well, we were here all weekend, and I was painting a watercolor by the back pond on Sunday. And I heard several cars crunching over the gravel on the driveway. Oh, it was in the police report. There was a naked man running down Middle Lane Saturday night. Can't be true. Never oh, heard that. It is totally true. News to me. I hear that he used to go jogging down a two-mile beach, bring home guys. Ted Ammon was not gay. I mean, if anyone was heterosexual, it was Ted. Aggressively so. Well, everyone says it had to be her. Or the boyfriend. Or both. I hate to say it, but I don't know anyone who knew them who doesn't think she did it. Mrs. Ammon, 
spend all weekend in Manhattan with her children, never more than a mile from her home. Look, this is a great loss. It's a terrible shock to the children, to all of us. Mrs. Ammon is deeply distressed by some of the things being reported by the media about her husband and herself. You're going to hear a lot of things about your father's death. I don't want you to listen to any of it. Not what you may hear on television, read in a newspaper, not what anybody else says. It's all lies. Mrs. Ammon's most important consideration right now is the protection of her children from irresponsible and untrue things being said about their parents, which can only bring them further pain and suffering. I'm going to tell you the truth because you both need to know. Your father killed himself. He killed himself by taking alcohol and barbiturates. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, Alexa. The police said so. What are barbiturates? Well, they... Downers. They're pills, Grego. Why would Daddy kill himself? I don't know, baby. I don't know. We may never know that. She had her own private mass with the kids this morning. <laughs> Just calls me that she took the ashes. <clears throat> uh, I have everyone's attention here for a second, please. First of all, I'd just like to uh, thank everyone for coming. Uh, Alexa, Greg, I know this is a real confusing time for you guys, and it is for all of us, but especially for you. But please, do not be confused about this. Your father was a wonderful human being, and he loved you both very much. And there wasn't anything in this world he wouldn't do for you. Hang in there. It appears Ted bequeathed his entire estate to you. Are you... Why, why would he do something like that? The will was dated August 22nd, 1998. He never changed his will. Apparently not. And since the divorce settlement was never signed, and you were his legal wife on the day that he died... All of his real estate, all his financial assets, except what he's put aside for the children, of course. All of it goes to you. So what are we talking about here? I'm... His entire estate. Close to $100 million. It's been over two months since the murder, and still no arrests have been made. In fact, no suspects have been identified. There's the DA. Here we go. This is very much an ongoing investigation. However, in our opinion, the odds of the murderer being a total stranger, uh, they're minimal. Thank you. Okay, let's get this going. Three, two, and one. Both the police and the district attorney's office declining to say then if the victim's widow, Generosa Ammon, or her boyfriend, Daniel Pelosi, are considered suspects, as has been widely speculated. Attorneys for Mrs. Ammon insist she has been cooperating fully with the investigation. But police sources say she has declined to be interviewed by detectives since shortly after the murder. Good morning. 
All right, kids. You ready to go to school? Um, I'm not feeling so good. Yeah, me neither. What are you talking? What's the matter? Huh? What's going on here? I think I see what the problem is here. You're going to let those jerks keep you from going to school. Well, can you blame them? I mean, how are we supposed to live like this? Oh, it's just the press. It's you know. not the reporters. It's the kids at school. What do you mean? What are they doing? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. Tell me. You don't know what it's like. They're always saying mean things about us. They're always talking about you and Dad. Pushing and shoving and stuff. Well, what are they saying exactly? Well, I'm going to call the headmaster. Mom, please don't do that. It'll just make things worse. No, no, what you need to do is defend yourself. You show these kids what you're made of so they don't do this to you no more. Danny. Hold on, babe. I got it, I got it right? Didn't your pop ever teach you anything? And what you really ought to do, all right? You get a few pals. Toughest guys you know, wait for them after school, all right? And you just, boom. Danny. Take the kids to school, will you? No. No, no, I got this. She's right. Come on, I got it. I can take care of this. Let's go. Part two. Let's go. Have a good day. All right, babe. Bye. Yeah. Uh, Generosa, it's Carrie. What do you want, Carrie? I'm busy. I'm, I'm coming to New York next weekend, and I'd like to see the kids. Take them to lunch. I think you want to pump them for information, Carrie. That's what I think. What, the police put you up to this? Hmm? Uh, Generosa, I know this is a difficult time. It's difficult for me, too. Whatever you might think of Ted or me, the children have a right to see their aunt. Hey! I say what rights my children have. You got that? Kids are gone. Housekeeper's away in here in that teddy. Suit. I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here and move to England. Why? What for? To leave. I have a house there. I have a house there. We can get away from all of this insanity. We, 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 the kids we, we, love we, it we, there. You want me to go? We have a normal life You want life me to go, again. too? Of course I do. Of course I do. Well, I, that's kind of far away, baby. I got, I got family here. My kids are here. My friends here. You know, and I got to work, honey. I got to make money. I got to... Marry me. Marry me and you'll never have to worry about money again. Are you serious? I need you with me, Danny. I need you. Mm, yes, I will. Oh, I will. Yes, I will. Mm. I couldn't believe it when I heard. I mean, it was. It wasn't even three months after the murder. It was one day after our divorce became final. One day. Obviously, he couldn't wait. She didn't care what it looked like. She didn't care what she was doing to the kids. Well, she took them back to England, supposedly to get them away from the press. Suffolk County Police have yet to name a suspect in the Ted Ammon murder, but the newlyweds are widely believed to be significant persons of interest. And in other international news, the huh? Bank will hold a summit next year in Brussels. What do you think? Pretty snazzy, huh? Check it out. Like you were born to ride. Oh, giddy up. I wish you didn't have to go back to New York. Yeah, it's just for a day or two. Yeah? Well, I don't trust the DA. I don't trust the police. Relax. What are they going to do to me? It's a DUI charge. Plus, it's only a hearing. It is laughable, babe. Come on, this has got nothing to do with that. They don't even have a suspect. Just hurry back, okay? Oh, baby, come on. You got nothing to worry about. Nothing is going to happen to us. We are right here, right now. And you are safe. Okay. Hmm. Hey, 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 move a car. Hey, get out of my car. Turn it off. Are you, are you here?
Get out of my face. How does it feel, Mr. Pelosi? How the hell off my property? Now, all of you. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. You kill him. What did you say? What did you say? How how does it feel sleeping in the bed of the murder victim? If I tell you again, and if you talk to those kids, I will this? kill you. Get off my property. All of you. Do you expect to go to jail for drunk driving? This might be just an excuse to get you back in the States, then. What were you doing on Middle Lane that night? What was the uh, involvement of Mr. Murder? Pelosi adamantly denies any involvement with the murder. Oh, come on. Had the what about the rumors that we were hearing? Danny had to come back to New York for the hearing on his DUI rap. And I guess the court couldn't hold him while the trial was pending, so the prosecutor got the judge to take away his passport, you know, so he couldn't leave the country again. So she had to come back here, too. I mean, if she wanted to be with them. Well, what amazed me was that they moved right back into the house in the Hamptons, like nothing had happened. I mean, they slept in the same bed where Ted was killed. I couldn't do that. I mean, if you were those kids, would you want to move back into the same house that your father had just been murdered in? Is it? Well, I wouldn't. I couldn't. All right, don't fill yourself up on that little rabbit food over there, all right? I got some burgers coming. Now, listen, I was thinking maybe we can get a boat. What do you guys think? Like that? Park it right here in the Hamptons, maybe do a little fishing. If, I mean, if you want. I don't know if that's your style. Really? Yeah. What, what you never been fishing? You know what a snorkel. Snork? That's it? Alexa, have you ever been fishing? Huh? You ever put a worm on a hook? No squiggly worms. All right, that's it. What's the matter, baby? You're not saying much. I'm uh, just a little tired. I'm gonna go lie down. All right, all right. Well, I'll teach you guys how to fish like my pop taught me. All right, how's that sound? The time your kids did what normal kids do. Up this Upper East Side. Jen? Mom, Mom? Jen? Mom! Jen, baby. Jen, baby. Is she okay, though? The biopsy is malignant. I'd like to schedule surgery right away. And we may have to remove the entire breast just to be safe. But I won't know until you're on the table. And usually we follow with radiation and chemo. Why don't I give you a minute with this? I'll be right back. Ted did this to me. It's been more than a year since the murder of Ted Ammon, and still there have been no arrests or indictments. After months of speculation, the district attorney's office has at last revealed the target of the investigation, Daniel Pelosi. Thank you, Amanda. In a surprise move, the Republican National Committee announced this morning the implementation of the black point plan. She asked me to come over to look after the children mostly. It was after the diagnosis, you see. She was concerned that she might become incapable of running a household. Her doctor said surgery wasn't going to be enough. You've got to follow it up with chemo, Look, otherwise... If I'm going to die, I would like to hold on to some shred of dignity. Dignity? Who gives a crap? I want you to live. So you'll, um... You know, so you'll lose your hair. So what? You'll, uh, you'll buy a wig, put on a baseball cap? I mean, don't tell me we've gone through everything that we've gone through. Now you're just going to roll over and die. Look, if you don't want to do it for yourself, at least do it for Alexa and Grego. Grego and Alexa have nothing to worry about. What does that mean? It means I've made plans for their future. They'll be fine. You, uh... You mind filling me in on these plans? I mean, I am your husband. I know you're my husband, darling. Listen, why don't you let me take care of the kids, okay? I need you to take care of me. Sure. In less than a year, Mr. Pelosi went through two and a half million dollars of his wife's money. I'd say, hey, Dan, ain't you gonna be P.O.D. you're blowing all this dough on us? He'd say there was so much money, he couldn't spend it all even if he tried. And he did try. And then he tried.
Oof. Man, that was just crazy. Ah, there you are. Look at you in your little jammies there. Look like you could use some rest, though. So do you. Yeah, you know, it's Vegas. It's crazy. Busy all week, though. Just running around. Spending my money. Oh, it's mine. It's yours. Yours is mine, right? You know, Danny, I may, may not be a lot of fun to be around lately, but the least you could do is come home. And when you do, you could try not to be drunk. Well, you don't have a freaking grand jury trying and to... And you don't have wall, cancer. Do you know? I've been meaning to ask you uh, about this car that you bought for um, Danny Jr. Yeah. What about it? Didn't you just buy him a new car four months ago? Totaled it. Kid totaled it. What about this boat? What the hell is that for? Who is it for? It's for us. Yeah, it's for us. It's for the kids, right? I promised you I was going to take you sailing, and baby, I'm going to Do take I look you like I am in any position to go sailing, Danny? Huh? Do I? Listen to me. Do I? Listen to me! You may have given up on your future, but I haven't, baby. It's not over. We are going to beat this thing, and we aren't going down, ever. That's an interesting choice of words. Look, baby, you hear what I'm saying? We are not going down. I don't think she loved him, no. I, if you're asking my opinion, she used him to spite her husband. Did he love her? I don't know. Maybe he did. Would he have married her without the money? What do you think? Why she married that SOB? I couldn't say. I mean, not that I'm complaining, because, you know, I got my uh, alimony checks nice and regular. The DA's recommending a one-year sentence. You gotta be kidding me. I got DUI. You've got a DUI. Daniel, and this judge is no pushover. He's gonna push you for the max. Dude, I cannot go away for a year. You talking about generosity? Yes, of course. I asked the court to consider yeah. delaying the sentence to allow you some final time together. The, the request was denied. Denied? Then I, here's what you do. You work the compassion angle. You work it like Look, you've never worked it before. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not you, going away. If Mrs. Pelosi, if her condition should become critical during your incarceration, he says he'll consider letting you out early. That's critical. The best I could... that, thanks. You can go home now. This was a man who was always there for his family. Very loyal. Now, somebody was always needing a new roof, new carpeting, new furniture. He couldn't say no to nobody. Yeah, from the moment he met her, man, he never let us pick up a check. We go to Atlantic City, Vegas to get the airfare, the hotels, all the meals, even gambling money. He let Danny out after four months for good behavior. He asked me to pick him up. General Russell wasn't doing too good. Danny, just a few questions. Mr. Pelosi? Danny, how does it feel to get out of jail? Mr. Mr. Pelosi, do you think you're going to be indicted by the grand jury? So where's, the, where's the missing laptop, Danny? Can you tell us about the missing laptop? Danny, just a couple of questions. Excuse me, excuse me. Sir? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Artie Rubino. R-U-B-I-N-O. Welcome home, Mr. Pelosi. Yeah, thanks. Where's Generosa? In the bedroom. She's asleep. Oh, she's okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just go up and see. I'd rather you didn't. She needs her rest. Oh, well, you know, I haven't seen her for, like, four months, so I'm just gonna go up and sit with her. It's not like we're gonna go have sex, right? I made up the guest room for you. Please let me know if there's anything else you've been needing. Well, since when am I uh, sleeping in the guest room? She was using a hospital bed. There isn't sufficient room for two. Well, I thought the guest room was yours. I've taken to using a cot in Mrs. Ammon's room in case she wakes up in the night and needs me. Mrs. Pelosi. I stand correct. Yeah, you do. Kind of taken over here, haven't you? Someone had to. This is still my house, and she is still my wife. I'll try to remember that. Well, you'll do more than try. Or you'll be back in England eating greasy fish and chips. 
Perhaps those kind of threats are effective in the environs of the Suffolk County Jail, Mr. Pelosi, but not with me. You think that was a threat? Do not test me, or you will find yourself on the wrong end of a blunt object. So you came home? Ah, you know, I just walked in, baby. Shouldn't be out of bed. Yeah, you know what, Kay, right there, she's right. Oh, let me walk you up. Oh, Kay, help me. Oh, here we go, man. Yeah, all right, don't you? She kicked him out of the house. I guess she wanted to die alone. I mean, she had nobody now. No Ted, no Danny, no friends. Just the kids and that housekeeper. I need to talk to you guys about after I'm gone. I want you to be strong for me, and I want you to be strong for each other. Can you do that? Yeah. Now I've spoken to Kay. She's agreed to stay with you guys here in the house. She's going to be your legal guard. Mom, why? Oh, listen to me. She's been very good to us. And she loves you guys. But what about Danny? Why can't we live with Danny? No. We have to let Danny go. Mom, know you're here? No. What about Kay? She hates us. She hates kids, Perry. She's mean. You can't say anything to her. Something nice even. She'll just snap right back at you. You know how much I love you guys? I think I need to raise the kids. Uh, let you raise my children? I'd really have to be crazy. No, you'd not be fair. I'd just be fair. After everything I've done for you? Don't you dare play that card. Don't you dare. Would you like me to send you an invoice, Mr. Electrician, hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, you be reasonable. Be reasonable, babe, all right? You need me. You told me so yourself, right? Babe, babe, I can help you, can I? There's nothing more to do for me, Danny. Everything's been done. Well, uh, you can't freeze me out, Jen. We've been through too much together. I have nothing more to say to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go play my funeral. twist in the Ted Ammon murder case, the aunt of twins Alexa and Gregory has filed suit in Suffolk County for custody of her niece and nephew. Her suit claims, and I quote, Generosa Ammon, dying and cancer-stricken, suffers from a paranoid mental disorder. I'm doing what I think is best for these children. I'm very concerned about their welfare. And I think my husband and I can provide a safe, warm, loving environment for them. When a mother is sick, you don't take away her children. Shame, shame, shame on Mrs. Wilder. The suit does not accuse Generosa Ammon of murdering the children's father, but it does mention that Generosa and Daniel Pelosi have not been ruled out as suspects. What do you think you're trying to pull here, huh? You think you can just buy me off for a measly two million? Ain't gonna happen. Generosa is in the process of changing her will. She could leave you out of it completely. I don't believe you. Why would I believe you? You're a lawyer. She wouldn't do it to me. Well, you're welcome to take your chances in court. Or you can have $2 million right now. Free and clear. Free. Daniel. 
We don't really know how long she's going to live. And if you get indicted for murder, you're going to need money for a lawyer. Two million dollars could come in pretty handy. I sign now. If. How soon can I have the money? You could have it this afternoon. Two minutes. Mrs. Pelosi, we're offering total immunity from prosecution in exchange for anything that you may know. General Rosa, this is a very serious offer. This is your opportunity if you want to take it. If you have anything to say, this is the time. You want me to say I killed my husband? Ted Hammond deserved everything he got. Go away. She went into a coma that night. Happily, the children were with her when she died. Danny wasn't mentioned in the will. How do you like that? She gave Kay custody of the children, one million dollars, and the house in East Hampton to live in for the rest of her life. Why shouldn't I be here? It's a public place. She was my wife. People seem to forget. Yeah, you know what? I'm just fulfilling her last wish. I guess it's, uh, this is where we met. She had a Cosmo and I had a beer. I promised to take her for one final drink. There he is. The two things in the world that he loved the most. Himself and alcohol. Red carpet over here, Sergio. Right here for my queen. That's right. There you go. We got plenty more. Daniel Pelosi, you're under arrest for the murder of Theodore. Yeah, yeah, man. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Yeah, get him out of here. Don't give me a kiss. Hey, because I will see you. All right, don't worry about this, babe. I got this. All right, hey, hey, tell you something. We're going to be together. All right? You hear me? Together. Me and you. Well, you know. What do they really have on them? Not much from what I can see. No confession, no eyewitnesses, no murder weapon. Nothing to forensically connect Daniel Pelosi to the crime. Well, he was one of the few people that had access to the security system. But what happened to the missing laptop that was used to spy on Ted in the house? Nobody knows. I understand that the laptop was burned in a fire. That's what I was told, and I have no reason to believe otherwise. They wanted to have a little memorial to their mother. I didn't see the harm in it. Yeah, I, I write to the kids, and I call them when I can. And I tell them what a wonderful man their father was. It's important that they know that. I try my best with them, but boys and girls are very different, you know. Boys are so much more difficult. I, Getting on, it's a lot for one woman. It's 
a good boarding school in New Hampshire. One of the best, I'm told. Rather strict, which would have pleased his mother enormously. I'm still trying to get custody, but it's difficult to go against the wishes of the mother I'm finding out. Even after death. 